Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, I just got out of the shower and today I woke up and didn't do any fasted cardio, but I did weigh myself and I'm still the same, about 99.4 kilograms. So hopefully that persists throughout the weekend, but more than likely this won't be the case because I will be in Japan for the weekend. And so I'll also not be able to get my bicep tricep day, uh, my arm day in tomorrow, but that's fine. I'm not really worried about doing arms all the time. It's just something I do to get myself moving, really. Um, later on when I bulk, uh, the arm day will be a little bit more serious, but as of right now, it's just a tool to sort of burn a little bit more than normal. So today was my hamstring and glute day, and I started off the workout with the dumbbell stiff leg deadlift, uh, three sets of 15 at a very light 16 kilograms uh, per side. And on each rep on the eccentric, I'm trying to focus on getting my hamstrings tight, uh, feeling sort of a stretch in the hamstring and using that as sort of a rubber band effect to fire the concentric portion a lot harder than otherwise normally I would. These felt really good and they were a good way to activate my glutes and activate my hamstrings to prepare myself for the deadlift. So the second exercise was the sumo deadlift, again at a deficit. I did three sets of four, so the same weight as last week, just increasing the rep range by one. And each set went pretty well. Uh, it w actually wasn't that hard. And I feel like I'm getting a little bit stronger. And for the back off set, I actually didn't do a back off. I just did a uh, conventional deadlift, one set of three at 180 kilograms, just to make sure that I can still handle four plates. I don't want my uh, CNS to kind of forget how to handle that kind of heavy weight, or the 400 pound zone. That moved really quickly, I didn't record it, but I'm feeling a lot stronger on the deadlift, which is really nice. Moving on, I did a leg press, four sets of 12 at 90 kilograms. This was very easy. I used this as sort of a burnout rather than uh, a bodybuilding exercise. I wanted to sort of pre-exhaust my glutes, hamstrings, quads because the next thing that I was going to do, well let's just talk about it. So the fourth exercise here is the rope pull through or the rope hip thrust and I, I wanted to be pre-exhausted for this because I wanted to really test my athletic ability or my explosiveness and so as you can see here I'm setting myself into the sumo position and on each rep explosively or as explosively as I can firing forward and getting my glutes nice and tight at the top range of the motion and then repeating this. I did this at 40 kilograms it wasn't too heavy or it's not actually heavy at all but due to the positioning and the way the rope is, uh, you sort of need to be able to brace pretty hard at the bottom uh, just so that you don't get thrown back. And so I do like this exercise. It's a really good accessory for the deadlift. I know it looks ridiculous, but trust me, it's a very good exercise. Fifth exercise of the day was uh, hamstring curls, uh, prone hamstring curls, four sets of eight. Uh, I did this unilaterally at 25 kilograms and it wasn't anything crazy. My right hamstring was feeling like it was knotted up a little bit, so I decided to stay light instead of sort of pyramiding up in weight just to avoid any potential injury. After that, we went into abductions on the machine, four sets of eight at 110 pounds. This was a lot easier than it was before, and it might be due to the way I positioned myself. I felt a little bit different in my positioning today than I did uh, the time before. So it could have been that, or it could have been that just I'm getting a little bit stronger. 
Hopefully that's the case. Uh, lastly, I did some calf raises, three sets of 15, 50 kilograms on the leg press, and I did these unilaterally as well. And this wasn't difficult at all either, but I didn't record it because it's not interesting. So, there you go. That's the workout. And that's the end of the video. If you made it here, why not click like? It helps me out a lot and it shows me you guys like this kind of content. If you have any questions about my programming or if you want to get into one-on-one -on -one online coaching, please feel free to comment below or email me at thebarbellbear at gmail.com. And also, if you made it here, uh, why not subscribe? so you don't miss any future videos. That's all for now. I gotta get ready to head to Japan. So I will talk to you guys in the next one.